Yes, guys, we are back. We're back for another Chelsea game. Haven't done one of these in a while. I've missed the entire Christmas period. So to everybody watching, hope you guys have had a good festive period. Even though this is my personal channel, I've been talking to you guys every day. Just big up, big up. Welcome back to another video. It's Chelsea versus Preston in the FA Cup. These lot have a crap record in the third round. They've got a crap record going into this game. They've got a crap record against top flight teams in this, in this competition. We should be winning. We should be winning. Even if the structure isn't good, we should have enough individual moments to see this game out. Just please, I'm begging you. Let's make this an easy game. Let's try kill it off in the first half so we can rotate a little bit with the semi-finals of the Carabao coming up. But God knows with Chelsea. We know what we're like in the second half, innit? So we'll see what happens. It's good to be back. Big up everybody. Like, subscribe. And Chelsea, please, please win. I beg. We Seriously, some of the football that I've seen in this first half stinks, man. We can barely put a pass forward. We're hoofing the ball out from set pieces. It's fucking pressing. Oh, what has happened to us? I swear on my fucking mind, man. This manager is an absolute He's criminal. He's so poor. He is a fucking criminal. Oh wow, oh. oh Enzo! Come on, man! Yeah, that's exactly why. Blow the whistle, yep, there we go. Knew it, knew I wouldn't miss anything. What a shit first half that was. I swear, we can't even break down 14th place Preston. This manager is fucking corrupt. He is actually corrupt. These players look clueless. And it's the manager's setup. It's as simple as that. Big up to whoever has the individual moment that wins us this game, because that's going to be the only way we get a win. Fucking dreadful. See you in the second half. Come on, guys, I beg. Have some shame and score a goal. Come on! Oh. Come on, Castro! So yeah. 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 Oh! 
Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. And so. differently about this game before the first goal. Yeah, one minute left, I'm out, 4-0. Thank the Lord. Up the shells, we've got another game with four goals, even though it looked like a game of two halves. Yes, we're doing this whole Cup Kings gimmick. Let's go. Up the shells, like and subscribe, all of that shit. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Thank God we turned it around in the second half. Thank God. Right, it's full time. Somehow we've actually won that game 4 0. Big up to everybody that's locked in. As always, hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. Like, that was another game of two halves. First half was absolutely sinful, the most putrid, disgusting football I've ever seen. Although I say that I've seen that enough times this season. Second half, though, like we upped the intensity a little bit. We break the deadlock. And like that was the biggest issue. Like we just had to get the first goal and open up the floodgates a little bit. And then Preston had to come out a bit more. Got a bit more luck, got a second goal off a corner. God knows how many times I'm gonna say that this season. Third goal, Sterling, good free kick. Suddenly we're three goals up. Um, after that, Preston structure just goes in the bin. We get some really scrappy fourth goal, but it's Enzo GNA, so we'll take it. Suddenly we've won the game 4-0. I know exactly what I'm gonna to get told. So just be happy. Just be happy we won the game. And I am happy. I keep saying I will just take the result over anything. But I'm not going to ignore the performances too. Like, we do not look good structurally at all. It is genuinely just individual moments that are the difference in games. And the fact that we're playing, the teams that we're playing, is just playing into our hands. That's it. I promise you, we play any semi-serious football team, they're probably getting cooked the way that we're playing. And that is concerning. But thankfully, that's a problem for later. When we play Liverpool around, I think, deadline day. Then we can really worry about that. And hopefully Egypt do a deep run in the African Cup of Nations. So we don't have to worry about that shit. But, hey, I'm, I'm glad Palmer looks good. Gusto, even that left back, he struggled in the first half. Got a bit more comfortable second half. Especially when we moved him back into the right. Um... Who else? Who else even looked good? That first half wasn't good at all. It's even hard to really pick names. I think Petrovic had a semi-decent game. He didn't do anything wrong. Barely got tested. Silva comes on, comp um, just composes the back line a little bit more. To be honest, the second half was actually done really well. I don't think Pochettino made any mistakes with his game management, thankfully. I think we just get one good half of him. You just have to pick whether it's the first half or, or whether it's the second half. But I'm just glad that we're through. There's another home win. We can take that in the bag. Stamford Bridge slowly growing into more and more of a fortress. We've got another win. I think there's four wins on the bounce. Probably four or five home wins in a row. We'll take it. We'll take it. Sterling, as frustrating as that guy is, he gets you GNA. So you have to just firm it for the most part. We're not in a position where we can be annoyed too much about stuff like that. He is frustrating as hell. But somehow that brother's going to get you something. Uh, not, not really the best of games. It's just a bad second half, if anything. But hopefully we see Madueke start against um, Middlesbrough. Hopefully we look a little bit better in that game. Michael Carrick is really going to worry us in that match. I hope, I hope we do not get out tactic by Carrick. That's going to look so embarrassing. But hey, we'll see what happens. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe and all of that. Up the Chels. We got another win. Don't know how. Actually, I do know how. It's Preston. But thank the Lord. Up the Chels.